woke up in the early morning with the anchor alarm going off and the anchor dragging. After a few failed attempts of setting the anchor, we decided to set the sails and get going. I had a long day ahead of me anyways. It was a beautiful morning as the sun rose above Sweden. With the mainsail up and the compass course north, I was excited to cross Kattegat single-handed. So I discovered a few leakage. Um, it seems like it's come from here, which I think is the hose to the Webasto, the diesel heater. So I've been cleaning up diesel. It was all flowing here. This is a bit wet over here. Maybe it's from this guy. I don't know. It's a bit concerning. I also found diesel in the bottom, in the bilge. You can see here. Really good. Really, really good. With the diesel cleaned up, I could push on sailing. It was a typical grey Scandinavian summer day. Squalls filled with rain and strong winds were swooping across Kattegat and I had to pay close attention to the reefing. Kattegat is also famous for its choppy waves. My initial plan was to sail to the island Anhol in the middle of Kattegat, but the nearest weather report told of gale force winds the next 2-3 days and I decided to press on to reach Jutland even though it was getting late. In the evening the wind died and I had to motor to reach my destination before dark. I reached Halsbarna just before midnight and in complete darkness I had to trust my chart plotter as I slowly tried to find the anchorage and not run aground. I woke up to a total bliss and set out to explore the sand reef. In daylight I could see how shallow the water was and I was glad I had put the boat on a short leash. As far as it goes, it's really shallow in this area. This is Kozon, sand reef, and uh, it's really tiny, <laughs> but uh, I think it's it might be low tide or seems like there's supposed to be water here, but a uh, beautiful place. Beautiful.